Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel, thank you for tuning in. So for those of you who saw my last video, you'll remember that there was a, a first location I wanted to go to which was completely full at the time, with the car park just being absolutely rammed. So I've decided to come back, um, it's 6.30 in the morning, it is freezing, it's minus one outside, um, but the car park is empty so fantastic so we're going to take a walk in just a moment it is still dark outside so i may not be able to show you that bit because the iphone does have limitations um until i get a light for that but i said we're going to take a walk up on top of the pusey veils at the moment the clouds there is a low bank of clouds across the horizon now I've looked at a couple of weather apps. They said that the low cloud is due to be there until about half seven, quarter to eight. Sunrise is literally an hour and a half away. So it's at eight o'clock or just after eight o'clock. So I'm hoping by the time sunrise comes up that that bank of cloud has disappeared. Um, if it does, fantastic. We'll be waiting for a great sunrise. If it doesn't, well, that's just part of being a landscape photographer. Getting up early. Dragging yourself up top of the hill, nobody in the world about, and then the bank of cloud just covers the sun, so it said there's no sunrise to be seen. However, it's always beautiful this time in the morning anyway. And if you're a landscape photographer, or if you're looking to do landscape photography, morning for me is definitely the best time. Now, I am definitely not a morning person, as I said, I would much rather be laid in bed. And I tell you, if it wasn't for landscape photography, I probably wouldn't get up as early as I do, half as much as I do. So I think landscape photography gives you great motivation to get out of bed and see the weather when it's at its best, which for me, I said, is definitely in the morning. So we've got about an hour and a half to sunrise. We've got about half hour hike up the hill. Hike? Hike up the hill. Um, so we're going to have a coffee. We're going to get gloves on, going to get kitted up, and then we're going to make our way up. And once I'm up the top, I'll bring you up, I'll bring you back and I'll show you what we've got to say. Wow, this is beautiful. So we've got the moon just up here behind me, but if I turn you around, just so you can see, we're on top of a hill called Nap Hill, but just look at the color over here in this sky. Now, we've got that bank of cloud just below it on the horizon. That is what I'm hoping will disappear before too long. Um, if not, we may have to wait for the sun to come above it, but there's no clouds above it at all. So we're gonna see some kind of light this morning for sure. Uh, we've got these beautiful hills here just behind us. So I'm hoping that the light is gonna catch on these hills here. And if it does, they said it's gonna look absolutely fantastic. So we've got about another half hour, I reckon, until sunrise. So we'll keep you posted with that. Have a look and see what we've got. I'm gonna get the camera set up, but wow, this place is insane. So just as we're walking around over here, 
can see another composition, which if the light hits it, it's gonna look amazing. So let me just show you. Over here, we have this little cluster, where are we going? This way? This little cluster of trees right here. So, and down in these fields here, you've got this kind of rolling, undulating kind of field down here as well. And I think if the sun catches that right, which as you see behind me, it's starting to get bright now, but it hasn't quite come over the, the bank of clouds. If it starts to catch that light there on the land, that is gonna look absolutely amazing. So, fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. Got the camera set up at the moment over, go the right way, over that way there. Okay, so that's the camera and we're looking towards the sunrise at the moment. But quite often on sunrises, it's not a case of looking directly at it. It's looking at where that light is going to land on the countryside around. And I've got a feeling right in front of me, that's going to be the nicest spot. So still got a little bit of time to wait for that sun to come over the horizon and over that bank of clouds because that bank of clouds doesn't look like it's going anywhere at the minute but when it does we are back show you the setup show you the compositions and fingers crossed we'll get some amazing shots well i've got to be honest <laughs> it's not looking good so that bank of cloud which is supposed to be disappearing um it's getting bigger you see over here so it still looks like some nice color might come above it but for the time being <coughs> it could be by the time the sun has actually come over those clouds actually it's gonna lost all its color to it so we might just end up with normal daylight as opposed to that gorgeous golden kind of hour kind of like just beautiful glow across the countryside um it might just be a harsh kind of light instead which it's not great it works for shadows um doesn't really work too well for the landscape photography at this time in the morning so um we'll see what happens we're not looking hopeful i said but it's still beautiful it's still worth getting out of bed for it's still worth just being up here with hardly anyone around i think there is two people over that way somewhere who are enjoying the morning as well but yeah this is just one of the most special places you can come to and if you ever get a chance Pusey Vale's in wiltshire I'm on a hill called Knapp Hill at the minute, um, and from here you can just see, well, you can just see everything. As you can see it's not getting any better at all um not to worry though that happens sometimes so instead i said i don't want to go home without a shot today and without a shot to show you as well so we're going to look at these hills over here and we're going to zoom in on a 70 to 200 lens so we've got the long lens out rather than the 24 to 70 that i had on a minute ago we're going to look at just seeing if we can't get some of the shapes going down the hill it's still looking a little bit like we might get a bit of light breakthrough and if we do that'd be fantastic um but if we don't we're going to work with what we've got see if we can't capture a shot yeah it's just looking a little bit flat at the moment that's the only thing so there's a little bit of shape in the hills but not a lot of shape in the hills so we'll see what we've got i'm thinking it could be a black and white one again now i don't want you thinking because in my last video all three images were black and white I don't actually shoot black and white that much. I just felt that in the last video, that's what suited those images best. We'll see how this one looks as well. Could do with a bit more light, but we're going to try it with the 70 to 200. Um, I'll get the camera set up. I'll bring you back, talk you through the settings, and then we'll take the shot. So the time for sunrise has been and gone, and as you can see, no sunrise. However, the shot I was looking at just going to look around here at the moment on the back of the camera we've basically got the lens really zoomed in onto the hills down here and basically what we're doing is trying to get some of the shapes that have come down so i've got the camera set to 
uh, one quarter of a second. Um, it's at around 135 mil at the minute. Um, F7.1 and set to ISO 64. So just gonna take this shot. We'll see how it comes out. Um, but yeah, it's looking as if nice, simple composition. Not amazing, not all the bright light that we wanted when we came up this morning, but definitely still a shot worth capturing. So i am capture that now, see how that goes. Yeah, that's still looking really nice. So nice shape in the hillsides, nice contours you go through. Got some sheep on the hill as well for a little bit of interest as well. Trees dotted around as well. Still really, really lovely shot. It's still just so nice up here. I just love being up top on these hills. It's just a gorgeous place to be in the morning. We're gonna move on now to another composition. The one I spoke about earlier on, um, the trees with the fields, which are like rolling across the countryside there. Just gonna see if we can't get a composition on that. The light pretty much is starting to come up in little places, but nothing of dramatic color just at the moment. But we're gonna hang on, we might get lucky. We've got about another half an hour till I need to head back to the car. So I'm just gonna hang on, wait and see what happens. If there's any dramatic lighting, I'll bring you back. But aside from that, I'm just gonna stand up here and enjoy the views. Oh my days, the wait has been worth it. We have some colour at last coming through. Look at that. So it's just tinging with pink as well in some places. Um, sunrise, half an hour after sunrise, that makes sense. But um, I don't care. <laughs> I don't. Literally, it is freezing up here. I was almost thinking of packing up the camera. And now look. This colour is starting to come through. I've got a beautiful composition going across the fields towards a clump of trees on the opposite side of the, um, the vale. And it just looks absolutely incredible. So I'm going to catch this shot. I've got the long lens on again. Uh, we are at, well, we are about 135, I think, again on this one. Uh, one fifth of a second, F8, ISO 64, landscape polarizer. It just looks special. Cannot wait to show you this shot. The sun is well and truly up now. Oh, this is just glorious, glorious morning. Cold, crisp, fresh, and just beautiful. Just look at the sun over the countryside there. Definitely, definitely worth getting up early this morning for this. And it's crazy, there's no one else here. Absolutely no one else here, and it is just stunning. 
Just look at that. So, probably captured two images this morning. Uh, one without the light, which was the early doors one, which are these hills in the background here. Second one, just so this beautiful, beautiful scene over here with these trees in the background here and all this countryside with that light. Just look at how that is coming off it there. Absolutely stunning. <coughs> really, really happy with the images I've got today. Don't seem to be honest, I'm going to get any more. Um, got about 10 minutes before I need to head back to the car. I think I'm just going to let you enjoy this. It is just so beautiful and such a stunning morning. What a way to start 2021. I couldn't help it. I had to take one more shot. The hills that we saw earlier on that had no light on them whatsoever. The sun is just bathing them in this glorious sunlight now. You've got the shadows on the hills. As I said the sheep are moving around as well. You've got these trees which are catching the light as well. It's just absolutely stunning. I didn't get a chance to actually record the b-roll for it because I was just in such a rush to get the actual shot and capture it but what I'll do is I'll post the image here I'll put the settings by it as well and you can compare it to the one earlier in the video and just see what a difference that light makes just stunning And that's it. What an amazing morning. It didn't look as if the sun was going to come up above the clouds, but boy, did it surprise us in the end. It took a little while. Sunrise was about half an hour after we were expecting it, but it is just such a beautiful morning. It is freezing. I need a coffee for sure. Need to warm up. So I'm going to head back to the car. Hope you've enjoyed the images today. If you have, click the subscribe button, give it a like as well. Um, like I said, this is my new vlogging channel, so it'd be great for you to share it with anyone else if you think they'll like the channel as well. Aside from that though, until the next video, I'll see you soon.